Hi guys, welcome to a productive day in my life. Right here, what I'm doing is I'm preparing lunch for my husband, you know, Proverbs 31 stuff. She rises early, prepares food for her family. So that's what I'm doing here, making my husband lunch. Um, he's very simple, he likes sandwiches. His job is uh, very demanding at times, so he likes things that are easy to eat, which a sandwich is easier to eat than like rice and chicken. So he prefers sandwiches, so that's a win for me. Um, so I made him two sandwiches for lunch. Here, I'm actually making him breakfast. P- PB&J, very simple, folded in half. And I made him some bacon, sausage, and hash brown for breakfast. So I'm serving him on a paper plate. Wifeys, make your life easier. Less dishes when it's a paper plate. And here I'm adding some snacks for him. I am adding Rice Krispies. They're the miniature ones, so I add three of them. And here I am adding a healthy snack, which is cucumber. And I do add um, lemon and tahin on it. Here's my husband. And there I am loving him. He's the best. (laughs) And I do send his lunch in food for less bags. (laughs) But here's my daughter. She woke up super early because we had a time change in California. So I put veggie tails for her so I can go ahead and prepare for prayer. I did share on my last video that I do like to clean my room before I pray. Um, if my room is not clean, I feel like it's very, very distracting and I can't focus. Um, just because I like to walk around during prayer. And if there's stuff on the floor, if my bed's not made, it like catches my attention and I feel like I need a clean in the middle of prayer and that's never a good thing because the enemy tries to distract you literally with anything and the room being messy is very distracting for me so here I am cleaning the room preparing for prayer and my prayer spot is in that corner over there and I'm prepping it right now adding my bible my speaker and of course my candle I'm playing some music to set the vibe, set the atmosphere. And before I do go into prayer, I like to make some coffee. Here I am making two espresso shots. If you guys are interested on exactly how I do this, I have a tutorial on one of my vlogs. Um, It's an AeroPress and it's literally amazing. My husband is a big saver, so that's something I've learned in marriage is just to save money because I used to buy coffee all the time but now I've learned to make it at home I still buy coffee out sometimes but it's very minimal and I am making it in the Starbucks cup because if it's in a plastic cup it feels like you went out and bought it and it just tastes better it adds that effect you know and I'm even adding some whipped cream this is not a low calorie coffee by the way so it's not my everyday but I like to drink it sometimes and my coffee came out really good and here I am getting into prayer that is my little prayer corner I do walk around though during prayer as well but I start off sitting down and I just acknowledge God worship him and that's the beginning of my prayer I like to listen to this when I read it's like nature sounds but I want to read to you guys today's devotional it is so good it's November 7th today I actually read this before I pray, um, just because I like to have a little bit of word before I pray. So when I'm praying, I'm meditating on the right thing, which is the word of God. Um, today's devotional, November 7th, is Delight Yourself, Psalms 112, 1 and 7. Blessed is a man that feareth the Lord, that delighted greatly in his commandments. He shall not be... Be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. The man who makes a habit delighting in God's word will have a heart that's fixed. He can make it through disastrous situations without losing his balance. His mind's made up before he ever gets to the disaster. He's victorious before he ever gets there. A person like that is hard to whip. The sad thing is that most believers wait until the disaster hits before they start trying to establish themselves on God's word. 
They wait until their back is against the wall, then suddenly they get real spiritual and start fasting and praying, and all too often they have started too late. That's like a guy who finds out a burglar is in his house, and then he starts looking for the barbell so he can build up enough muscle to throw the burglar out. He's not going to make it. If he'd been working out instead of watching television every night, or in today's world, TikTok, social media, he'd been ready. He'd have been ready. But as it is, he's headed for a painful defeat. Be ready before the devil breaks into your house. Get your heart fixed. Turn off the television. Turn off the distractions of the world. And turn on the word. The time to start establishing yourself on it is right now and then the scripture reading is job 22 21 through 30 and i'm going to read you guys the new living translation submit to god and you will have peace then things will go well for you listen to his instructions and store them in your heart if you return to the almighty you will be restored so clean up your life if you give up your lust for money and throw your precious gold into the river the almighty himself will be your treasure he will be your precious silver. Then you will take delight in the Almighty and look up to God. You will pray to Him and He will hear you and you will fulfill your vows to Him. You will succeed in whatever you choose to do and light will shine on the road ahead of you. If you are in trouble and you stay and you, if you, if, if people are in trouble and you say, help them, God will save them. Even sinners will be rescued. They will be rescued because your hands are pure. So that scripture right there is powerful. Um, I think the last part is crazy. If people are in trouble and you say help them, God will save them. Even sinners will be rescued. They will, they will be rescued because your hands are pure. Pure. So that scripture that I was talking about is uh, in James 5 16 the prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective and that when I read this right here that's the scripture I thought of um, where it says even sinners will be rescued they will be rescued because your hands are pure if people are in trouble and you say help them God will save them but that was today's devotional I'm about to get into reading um, reading the Bible, but yesterday, and even today, something that I felt God telling me, um, and I highlighted, I highlighted it yesterday when I felt it, um, right here, Proverbs 4, 25 through 27, look straight ahead and fix your eyes on what lies before you. Mark out a straight path for your feet. Stay on a stay on the safe path. Don't get sidetracked. Keep your feet from following evil. This scripture came to me yesterday because I just feel God telling me to just focus this season. Just focus. Focus on God. Focus on what he's calling you to do. Focus. And that's just the word that I hear is focus. And this is what I what I hear. Look straight ahead and fix your eyes on what lies before you. Um Guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. That's Proverbs 4.23. Made it like that? Yeah. But I just want to share that with you guys. I'm going to get into some word. And yeah, I don't know what I'm going to read today. I think I'm going to read. I'm going to read. What are you going to read? I am going to read John. I'm going to read a little bit of John, so... So, me and Amelia are eating hash browns and some sausages. I read a little bit already, so we're gonna eat, right? Hey, yeah, Mom, you wanna eat some sausages and some. Yes. Okay, eat it now. You guys, this is the hack to make a kid's food colder faster is if you use a, a little fan on it. Right? Yeah. This is such like a small random breakfast, but I don't have a big appetite today. And ne neither does she usually, so this is what we're eating. 
Hey guys, so I prayed and I read. I'm gonna read more later on as well. Um, I do have my daughter, so it is a little bit harder to get this stuff done from when I don't have her. If you guys don't know, I have 50-50 custody with her dad. So one week she's with me and one week she's not. So some weeks, you know, she wakes up at the same time as me and I still try to get my prayer in. I still get my word in. It's not as easy as if I was alone, but you know, even if she's awake, it's a good thing because she gets to witness her mom going into the presence of God. She gets to witness her mom reading the word and watching her mom put God first so yes it could be a little bit of a I don't want to I don't want to say the word annoying but it could be kind of I would rather be alone or rather have her sleeping when I do my prayer and quiet time because I'm able to press in more but I have to look at the bright side and the bright side is that she gets to witness it and watch so as she gets older, um, it's something that she's already used to and it's like normal to her. As you guys did see, I cleaned my room earlier um, when I prayed. Some of Amelia's toys are here because she was playing here while I was reading. But this is really the only area I cleaned because um, this is where I pray. And like I shared in my last video, I really have to have a clean space in order to pray in peace. So... Sundays is like our busier days. We're at church all day. So we don't really have time to really like deep clean. So today is a deep clean day. So I'm going to show you guys my productive day with my daughter. Um, this room, I just need to vacuum this room. But let me show you guys what I need to clean. Whew. There's a lot of stuff going on. Like this girl was eating honey, I guess. Um, so we got to clean up this area. Say hey. <laughs> And we gotta clean up this area. These dishes are literally from last night and this morning. Why does Sally show me do this to bears? Because he fights bears. And I gotta clean up this area. I have to go through Amalia's clothing. She like literally doesn't fit that much clothing anymore. And then I have some clothing to hang up. So yeah, this is like all the makeup from last night. So. I'm just showing you guys the real to show you guys that nobody's perfect and Sunday And guys, you know that Daddy Chili fights bears like this <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Chili fights bears uh, Nobody's perfect and some days you get so busy that you let the mess get messy But today's a Monday and today's always my cleaning day We're gonna sweep, we're gonna mop, we're gonna vacuum, we're gonna deep clean So let's do this Alright <laughs> I always like to start with the kitchen first because personally I feel like it's the worst part. And it should be clean in three, two, one. Clean. I have these girls playing here. This is Amelia's cousin Zion. Um, whenever she comes over, it just makes me realize that it makes me realize that actually having two kids is probably easier than having one. Say hi! Because <laughs> whenever she comes, I'm able to do stuff and Amelia's not all up on me. So, I was able to clean the whole kitchen. Right now, I'm making them chicken nuggets. So, that's what I have in the air fryer. They might be even ready. This isn't like the best or the healthiest, but it is the fastest right now so I'm gonna make creamy chicken ramen which is so good for myself right now so that's what I'm doing and just wanted to show you guys what I'm tackling next this area right here I kind of started already but just yeah about to make it real clean right here also look at the roses my husband got me they're so pretty gets me flowers every week
basically cleaned the surfaces. I still need to spray this and wipe it down. I cleaned this because there was toothpaste all over here. But this thing is awesome. You literally just put your toothbrush here, squeeze it, and then toothpaste comes out. Um, but now I am going to go through all this clothes here and I gotta take stuff out that she doesn't wear anymore or fix her. So these are really organized. They're really empty actually because I took out so much clothes. Um, here's her pajama drawer but I took out this much clothes this is all clothes that does not fit her anymore so I am gonna be donating these finally this area is clean this took me the longest I need to do the bathroom next and I have literally been going since like I believe it was like 9 30 when I started cleaning maybe 10 and I mean I did take like little breaks in between but I've been going and going and going, so the girls are actually down for nap time. Check it out. I get my... I have a ring, but I have like the apartment friendly one, so I can literally move it around and I, whenever I'm like putting, that, putting her for nap time, I watch them, so they're here. They're both asleep, one, two. But... Now that I've done all that, I'm going to clean the bathroom and I'm going to shower and get ready because tonight is my date night. So I do want to say as well, I did um, listen to the word, listen to uh, my pastor this whole time that I was cleaning. Just because out of the abundance of your heart, your mouth speaks. Like I told you guys earlier, I really felt God just telling me that I need to focus. Because I've been a little bit distracted, but I just need to have a lot of focus right now. So... I am just focusing on God, focusing on the Word of God, um, and just staying with my eyes and my heart fixed on Jesus and His Word. So, just wanted to share that. Let me go get ready now. I started doing my own nails because this saves us like $60, 60 to, 60 to $80 a month. If I count, actually, if I count my toes, it saves us like $110 a month doing my own nails, which, um, I feel like I did an okay, okay job for my first set. So, these are stickers, like little clouds, but I'm gonna get ready for date night. Um, I can't really even see anything because I don't have my glasses on. Today we're going to be 